on a hot day, if your hanging baskets have dried out and when you go to water them, the water just flows right through, you can put them in a bit of a pool or a Rubbermaid bin or a saucer and fill it up with water and also give them a really good soaking. If you're going away on vacation, you can group all of your plants into a, t a pool or Rubbermaid bin, make it really easy for your water. Give them a good soaking, pull them into the shade and that will keep them healthy and happy until you come back. Follow me to the greenhouse and I'll show you how to keep your raised garden vegetable beds healthy and hydrated. On a hot day to keep moisture into your raised beds or even into your regular vegetable garden, I add a thick layer of straw. Um, it helps to keep the moisture into the soil. It's light enough that it doesn't smother anything. And in case you're wondering what this is, this is an artichoke flower. I missed the harvest period and I just thought I would enjoy looking at this gorgeous, gorgeous flower and it lasts such a long time. I've got basil in here and some baby cantaloupe sprouting as well. During the heat, mulch is really important. So in my vegetable garden, I use straw. If you have cedar hedging or a garden, you can use a lovely composted hemlock fir mulch um, that will hold the moisture in as well as keep the weeds down. Um, if you have cedar hedging, it's very, very important to water them on during these heat spells. Um, even if you have an older existing cedar hedge, you can use a soaker hose, you can use a timer, but make sure you water your cedar hedge. They are heavy drinkers. If you are a patio gardener or you have a smaller number of plants, there are a lot of cool gadgets that can help you keep your plants hydrated if you do get to go away. Um, so everything from these clay inserts that you simply fill up your bottle of water and you tip it upside down and they sort of stay and slowly the water will dissipate. On this one, you need to have a thread. So you make sure you thread this on to your water bottle and you can see that there are some holes and it will slowly water your, your plant over the course of a couple of days. If you're an inconsistent waterer like me, you can get these little plant pals that will tell you when the soil is dry, like this little guy, and he will rib it <laughs> to let you know when you need to water your plant. And you just poke them in close to the plant roots. And when he's making a noise, it's time to water. So have fun this summer and make sure you stay hydrated and your plants too.